Time now for the first grocer, Tony Tantillo. Today it's Tony's table, and today he's making Yukon Gold potatoes with rosemary. And today, Tony, it's the guys in the kitchen. It's just the guys in the kitchen. Just let me tell you something. Yeah. This dish here is so simple to make. There's four or five ingredients, and that's it. And the flavor is out of this world. It smells fantastic. But the Yukon Gold potatoes mm -hmm. is the star. Yeah, it really is. And to select a great Yukon Gold potato with the market, it's simple. You want them here. It's got beautiful like a dark yellow, light gold color all the way around. Very, very important. Free from any sprouting whatsoever. Skin nice and tight, firm to the touch. When you bring them home, it's a boiling potato, cooking potato. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it in the refrigerator. If you leave it at room temperature, you know what happens? It turns slightly green, and that you don't want. A green potato. Yeah, it's a green nice. potato. But one more thing, too, is because the sugar content, these potatoes are so high, they don't store well. So. I would say a week to 10 days at the most. Otherwise, they'll shrivel up a little bit on you and lose some of that wonderful flavor. And you can't go potatoes like Mother Nature out of the butter right inside. It, it feels buttery just to the touch, oh. too, Tony. So this is what we did here. Oh, it's, still, it's breaking up. I'm turning the heat down. It's just about <laughs> done. We sauteed the potatoes, cut them up, sauteed mm -hmm. them with some olive oil just to brown them a little bit all the so, way around. Yeah. That's all we did. Then, nice. after they got brown, still firm on the inside, brown on the outside, we took out the olive oil, we added chicken stock. We seasoned the potatoes before we added the chicken stock mm -hmm. with salt and pepper. That's all That's we it. did. Then the chicken stock, and then we let it reduce, reduce, mm. reduce in a low heat. We added rosemary in. You get the flavor of the rosemary without getting the needles of the rosemary. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the rosemary so out now, mm -hmm. put it right here, and you're gonna finish this off to heat up a little bit more. And you're gonna add some scallions. Scallions, I love scallions, all right. Okay, that's it, perfect, okay. that's enough. And a little bit of parsley. And that's all. Oh. Now we're gonna mix this around just a little bit. And just to you the don't end, mind, right? a, little, a little bit more salt and pepper. You, and that's it. Now you wanna do it with the parsley just so it starts to wilt. Yeah, it wilted pretty quickly there. It wilts yeah, very quickly. Fast. And you see that? Because of the starch releasing from the potatoes, it made this dish thick. It made it, and that's all you gotta do. And that's all. Look at that. Oh, that's the dish. On a chilly like night, I that said, is just fantastic. a few ingredients. What was this going well with Tony? Chicken breasts, a piece chicken of fish, breast, anything? piece of fish. I would steak. It would go great oh, with yeah. steak. Steak is by any type of protein. Not really. Not really fish too much. I, I would put something like a nice steak to it. A nice filet mignon. Oh, yeah. A nice <laughs> chicken. And we're just like this nice glass on of the wine. side. They really pick up the rosemary flavor, too, Tony, huh? Without getting those rosemary, because sometimes rosemary gets difficult. You gotta chop mm -hmm. it up then, and the needles, you know, could get to you. This is simple this way. You get the flavor, the oils from the rosemary come out. Just make sure you discard it when the rosemary mm -hmm. starts turning color, almost like a light brown. Then it's time to take it out. And that's it. So buy them and eat them, right? Right Don't in. store them too long. Don't store them too Keep long. Keep them in the fridge. Who wants to store these I, too long? No. Nah. Does that taste these are good? fantastic. Though? Oh, so good. All right, Tony, Delicious. thank you. For, uh, you can see Tony Tantillo's Fresh Grocer Reports right here every Monday through Friday on KCAL 9 News at noon. Delicious. All right. Up next.